Hello, beautiful people. I am here in my beautiful garage making soft plastics. So, today's video, what we're gonna be doing is, I have this mold here. This is a 10 cavity stick fit mold. This is the only mold I have. Well, actually, I have a do-it molds, um, four cavity mold, but we don't really use that one anymore. Because you can make 10 in this one, why would you use a four cavity? When you can make 10 easy custom molds, blah, 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 blah. easy custom stick base in this mold right here. So what we're gonna be doing today is, I don't know why it took me so long to do this, but this mold, if you remember that first video I posted with it, when I unboxed it, I don't, even, I don't think I used it in the video, I just unboxed it. These molds, if you look really close, it has the little, it has a spot right here and a spot down there. I can't think of a word, indention. Um, but what those are for are for rods. This is a core shot mold. So what you do is you place this little fancy rod inside of your mold. So what you do is you're gonna inject your first color and that's gonna be like the outside shell of your stick bait. Then what you do is you take these out and put your stick baits back into the mold. And then once you do that, you inject another color. Rods have been taken out. That second color is gonna fill the inside of the shell. This is really cool. I've only done it one other time and I gave them away to somebody. I did clear a clear shell with watermelon soap. Ooh, that little face I did there. We did, we did a clear shell with a watermelon inside. We're probably gonna do... Sounds like a bell being wrong. I'm not sure what colors we're gonna do. We haven't thought that far. You know we don't play anything on this channel. We just get right into whatever we are gonna be doing for the video. But we're definitely gonna do clear shells just for the video purpose, just because it's my first time and you can see it a lot better on the video. So you can actually see that it actually works. So basically guys, we're just gonna get right into it. Sit down, get you some popcorn, get you a snack, something like that and enjoy the video because this is probably gonna be interesting because I'm probably gonna mess it up. I'm gonna burn myself something. So here we go. All right guys, so first things first, I need to go ahead and I guess I should address this. One thing that I did not know when you did this is that you need some type of like oil, something to lubricate. Yeah, that word is hard. Lubricate your rods with. I stole this from my mother, Pam Olive Oil. We just spray the rods down with this. When you spray your rods down, it just makes them easier to pull out the bag. Just take my word for it, it's hard to pull these out if they're dry. So we just give them a little, little spray spray as such. And we wet our fingers along with it. Um, you don't, I guess you don't need a lot, but I just kind of put a lot on there. And we're just gonna open up our mold. Once we do that, we just take our rods and we just sit them inside. Do we just sit these on the inside like that? There's really nothing to it. We just close our mold up. We got our rods in there, so that was the only thing that we had to do before we start. What we do, we just take our cup right here. How much plastic all we're gonna add to this one, guys? Like we always do, we're gonna do one cup. Add to the one cup line or a little bit more, it's just personal preference. Then we're gonna add a little bit of hardener. We're not gonna add much, just a little bit. Also, we're not gonna put any salt in the shell of the base because the salt will cloud it up. We want the shell to be clear. Um, and also we're gonna add just a little bit of black flake just to give it a little bit of extra texture. I'm not sure if the camera was on or not, but hopefully it was. Um, <laughs> I just added some black flake into the baits and I'm putting them back in the microwave just to get them heated back up so I can inject them into the mold. The color that we're gonna be doing today is pumpkin watermelon for the core color. I was saying that I made a color, I made that pumpkin watermelon color with some cool color flake in it for a friend. So hopefully we're gonna, what we're gonna try to do today is make that same color over again for our video. Slowly inject that into the mold. I don't know what it is about this clear plastic salt, but it's really satisfying to me. Add that back into the cup, and we're gonna use that again later in a second. We're gonna use that again later in a second. How about that, Sven? I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take this out, and I'm gonna show y'all how I take the rods out. There we go, so that's what we got. We got our, I put too much of the, olive oil or what the Pam in them. I don't know if I should make a video just making straight clear stick baits without the rods in them and try to go fish them. I'm kind of interested to see. Cause I mean, I don't think, I've honestly never seen clear stick baits in a store anywhere. But what you're gonna do with this is you're just gonna pull the rod out. Sometimes you have to give it a little bit of a twist to get it going, but you just pull it on out. As so, there's really nothing to it. Just slide it out. You're gonna wanna make sure that you do this while the stick baits are kinda warm too. You don't wanna wait too long to pull them out because if you do, sometimes they won't. 
They don't want to come out. Cool thing about it is, if say if, like this happens when you pull it off, when you inject your second color, the second color is just gonna fill that part up. So it'll give you just a little bit different look. I think it's pretty cool. Um, or especially like if you're trying to sell them to somebody, but it's different. Anything different with these baits, I think is really cool. You're gonna wanna make sure that the tip is open on these because if it's not, the second color that you try to inject into them isn't gonna go in. So, and if one of them, just say if one of them's not open enough, what I do, I just bite the tip off. Like just bite a little bit extra of the tip. the mold so we can sit that to the side for a minute also we don't need these rods anymore so we're gonna go ahead and start with our next color we're not gonna use as much plastisol for this one because we're not gonna use a lot of it if that so we're gonna add the same we're gonna do just a little bit of hardener in it and we're gonna mix that around and put it into the microwave Added more salt than we should have for half a cup of plastic salt just because we didn't put any salt in the shell of the baits so we added some extra we're gonna just sit that back in the microwave so we can add our color and our flake all right so we're gonna pull that out we're gonna add our drops of pumpkin watermelon color we probably should shake that didn't even think about that and drop some pumpkin watermelon So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some, or actually we're gonna put this back in the microwave for a second. The that we're gonna be doing is black, blue, and purple flake. This looks really cool. I really wanna make some clear stick baits with black, blue, and purple. I don't know what it is about that color combination, but it looks really good, especially in this color. Okay, we're good now. All that salt is finally starting to mix in. So we just add, we don't need that much black. And I like to put, more purple than I do blue just because the purple stands out so well don't mix our flakes up I'm gonna add our blue I just missed that really bad brown and just look how magical that looks guys that's just the beautiful color right there like that makes me want to eat it honestly just All right, we gave that about 30 more seconds, so it should be yeah, it's good to go now. So we're going to go ahead and draw that up in our injector. So our purpose for using like a darker color in this is just really for demonstration purposes. So I hate to count my chickens before they hatch, but this is probably going to be really juicy. Just going to go ahead and let you know up front that this is probably going to be one of the coolest things you've ever seen in your life. I'm just kidding. But these are probably going to look really good. And that we get out of the, oh my goodness, look at that. The pumpkin watermelon, the blue black. I'm definitely going to have to get some better shots of that because the camera might not be able to do it justice, but it's going to have to. Like, check that out guys that looks great I'll have pictures of, I'll have pictures of these on my Instagram for sure so don't worry about that like flake right here I really like these I think these look really good this is actually my first time doing this combination me hey you know the chef always has to taste his food before you eats it so he doesn't kill anybody basically so I might actually have to do a little taste test of these for y'all these are juicy I love them I love you guys I love you we're just gonna remelt this clear plastic that we have right here. We're just gonna melt it back down. And we're gonna respray our rods, put them back into the mold. This time we're gonna be using blue color with silver and gold flake for the core of our baits. We go ahead and melt this down. Gonna go ahead and inject this into our mold. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just did I not clean that out? I don't think I cleaned that. That's not always why do I always do that? Why me? Alright guys, once again you have to make sure that you clean out your you have to make sure that you clean out your injector or you can't um you can't draw any more plastic without your injector being clean. So we're gonna set it up a little bit. For, 
for, for some reason, we're not gonna talk about it. Um, we know what we did. Um, our plastic wasn't quite hot enough. We didn't take the temperature. We got a little ahead of ourselves, but what we're gonna do, we're just gonna fill up these. We're just not gonna put these two back in there. Oh, actually, you know what? This could be a good thing. We're just gonna take these off and we're just gonna sit that back in there as it is. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so we, we made a mistake, but we're not gonna let it get us down. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna keep pushing. We got our chef's hat on. You know, chefs have to improvise sometimes, so we're just gonna improvise a little bit right here. Just gonna pull these rods out real quick. I'm gonna fast forward through this because who wants to watch me pull rods out of plastic? All right guys, so what we're gonna do with these two small pieces, we're just gonna sit those back in the mold. And since we, when we do that, the plastic is still gonna inject and we're just gonna have like a half blue, half clear plastic or stick bait. I was gonna wait until a later video to do that, but um, I guess you'll get a little bit of a preview of it here. We're gonna add our plastic salt to this mixing cup right here. I'm only gonna do half a cup since we're only doing a little bit of blue. That was a lot, probably more than I should have added, but it's gonna be okay. Add our blue to it real quick. Add just about eight or nine drops of this. All right, so what we're gonna, uh oh, we're gonna add our flake now, we're gonna add silver. I think we're probably gonna do a lot of silver and just a little bit of gold. Just a little bit of gold, just so you know that it's there. All right, I'm gonna pull that out. Give it a quick little stir. We're gonna need a couple more seconds in the microwave on this one. And that's that. You don't even need that much for the second color. It's just a little bit. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this mold right here. So, see what color we got. These are different, check that out. Okay, so these are the two that only like half of it filled. Each one of these baits looks different in some way. It could be like the new video series. That's basically what we do on here and then we mess them up and then we try to fix them. All right guys, so this is what we got for both of our clear shell stick baits right here. These we have the clear shell with the black flake and on the inside we have the pumpkin watermelon color, blue, purple, and black flake on the inside. We're definitely gonna have to get some fish catches in a video with these. Color number two, this was the crazy one right here. We got the clear shell with the black flake again, and then we have the blue with the silver and gold flake. Each one of these really turned out different, guys. Like this first one right here, this is how we expected them to look at the beginning, and then we had some when we shot the clear that didn't fill all the way up. So we just put them back into the mold and we made like a two color stick bait. Guys, I appreciate y'all for watching the video. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. If you have any other ideas, any color combinations, any molds you wanna see me get, just let me know, comment them down below. I appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you are still watching to this point, I appreciate you, you are real, you are important. Use the small, use the kind, use is important. I appreciate all the support on the channel, guys. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. I said I was gonna start doing that in the last video. When I ended the video, let's do it. It looks terrible, we're not gonna do that. That looks terrible, we're not gonna do that. Thanks for still watching. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know that I'm gonna be doing like a whole fishing lure making kit giveaway i'm gonna have a mold injector and um like some a bottle of plastisol and a couple colors all to give away to you guys so just so you know you'll be on the lookout for that it's going to be posted at the end of one of these videos picking one person from the videos to win the whole entire kit so be on the lookout for that <laughs> all right i'll see y'all peace